Well hi guys, uh, this is a video about picking or opening an old like suitcase type lock. Um, I was given this off a colleague at work due to her liking it. Uh, one of our departments had it, she's into photography, wanted it so they gave it her. Only problem is that it was locked. Uh, so it's been a little bit of a challenge backwards and forwards so myself and everybody at the DBC locksmith forum have been throwing ideas at each other because it was ideally wanted to be opened in a non-destructive manner or as less as possible um, so we were banging our heads together regarding that and Solomon with his great idea with a bobby pin bent over the size of the lock in an L shape unfortunately mate that didn't work because of the warded bit that was at the top um, I couldn't seem to get round it with this I tried um, and it wasn't having it uh, and I think even Pit Wizard even said you know try sort of the same thing and going round or I could bypass going round ignore the warded bit uh, that didn't work either mate so I had to think of another solution to get it open because I really didn't want to destroy it if she liked it that much so Satan came up with a great idea also with a screwdriver which I thought I'd try and I hope this is the way you went mate you know I'd like going it sort of going that way at 45 degrees and twist 360 I gave that a go and it wouldn't have it for some reason or that. I think it's catching on that top ward up there um, so I had to try think of another plan so basically what I looked into is the fact that normal locks can be taken apart and the barrel can come sort of out um, I thought well, that scenario and when sort of looking at the lock I found around the edge of here um, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that bit of squeaking guys or crunching but it's my little boy's guinea pig um, having a feed saying that I think he'd have opened it a lot quicker I could have just picked him up here put him down he could have chewed through the lock for me uh, but anyway what I did is saw this seal around the edge and decided to prise it off gently this is still connected to there by rivets but you can just get underneath it which let me see the mechanism just at the back there and by placing the screwdriver in at a slight angle and twisting as you can see the lock just popped open it is placed out the way a bit there but as soon as you put this back in it pulls the lock back into itself because of the mechanism there and how that bit, I don't know if you can see it, clips back into there so let's close that back up, do that again see how it's pulled it straight back in so it's like a semi-destructive method um, but it, everything's still intact so hopefully when I take it in tomorrow she's going to be very pleased with that because she's got her old case back with a lock still on the front so let's just go back in again and I'll show you straight away what happens is when you turn it inwards it's that bottom end of the screwdriver that seems to hit the mechanism which actually opens it so thank you guys everybody at DBC Locksmith Forum for your hints and tips um, I know we've been bashing our heads together a bit with this trying to get it open in a non-destructive manner um, I think we've achieved that uh, so thanks very much she'll be well pleased tomorrow you can actually see why she does actually like it um, because you know it's a nice old looking thing I can't zoom out with the camera because I've not got a tripod for it but let's go out as far as I can yeah that's as far as it goes but as you can see um, it's not quite a suitcase it's you know probably about a foot um, wide foot and a half high um, nice old bag um, you know it's I think it's for a video camera or something like that or other different bits and pieces uh, but like us guys I mean we like locks old and new 
Um, as you can see from this, ladies like handbags, <laughs> old and new. Um, sorry for that Ellie, it was just a joke. Um, oh, also Ellie, thanks for asking about my little boy, uh, that were really kind and he's doing really well. He's back to normal now, so thanks for that. So if anybody does have one of these locked away inside a cupboard, loft, garage, you name it, and there's something in it or nothing and you just want to have it open, um, try what I've just showed on there because it does actually keep everything, you know, as you can see it. I mean, all these scratches on there were over the years of the bag being used. Um, but it is a lovely little bag. So thanks for watching guys and again thanks to all you guys at DBC Locksmith Forum. Uh, we did a grand job and we got there in the end. So thanks for watching.